Charles, I'd love to hear your elaborated arguments for dismantling the fair points mentioned in the crypto colonialism article in CoinDesk against Cardano. Thanks. There are no fair points in that article. It's a completely unfair, inhuman thing done by an, one of these social justice warriors that has very limited experience in the jurisdiction. Crypto can't build roads. That's true. But people build roads and people have to be paid and have the resources and expertise and knowledge and ability to build roads. Where do they get those things from? From systems. If you have bad systems, you don't get roads. You got good systems, you get them. What crypto does is it gives you a new system. And once it's installed, the system has properties about it which are better universally for each and every person in that economy. Doubt me? Ask yourself this. Would you like to live in a country with free and fair elections? Simple yes, no questions. Would you like to live in a country with sound, stable money? Would you like to live in a country where it's easy to get money in and out of the country? Would you like to live in a country where you're treated equally to everyone else and there aren't people who have special considerations or favors because they won the genetic lottery or the geographic lottery, born to the right family, right name, right political connections? Yes or no? Would you like to live in a country where the property that you live on, you earned, and you think you own can't be stolen from you by a nepotistic corrupt company? or entity would you like to live in a country where the things you have a right to know are guaranteed and the accomplishments you make are recorded properly so you can prove them to other people yes or no and we can go down the list all of these things are contingent upon the operating system of that country and the belief that those things are credible don't believe me Okay, you have two candidates, you're an HR director. Uh, one of them graduated from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The other one graduated from a university in Kigali. They both have PhDs in computer science. Which one of them would you hire knowing only that? All things being equal, let's say the curriculum's identical, you'd probably hire the MIT graduate. Why? Because you think it's a more reputable organization. Why? Because the brand and reputation and the faith in that institution is higher than the other. And that's the problem. So how do you get ahead if that's your only access to education? Now let's change it up a little bit. Let's say that the person who graduated at MIT was last in their class. The person who graduated at Kigali is solvent. You still are judged by the brand and reputation of the institution. How does that person get ahead? Is it colonialism for saying that we can improve the systems? And how exactly would we do so? By coming in and changing them or by creating a self-serve system? The point of cryptocurrencies is there's not central coordination or central permission keeping for the system to be integrated and installed. Don't believe me? Who did Bitcoin then? The camel herder in Mongolia who has his Bitcoin. Tell me, was there some committee that woke up and said, boy, we really need Batuza to buy Bitcoin. Those Gobi camel herders, they have to do it. Yep, we need a guy out there. It's a good story, good PR. Let's go find him, convince him. He made the decision himself. So let me get this straight, Coindesk. It's colonialism to give people open source tools no one controls to put the freedom of globalization and self-determination in their own hands and improve their system so that they're on par with the rest of the world, if not better, and they can fairly compete with the rest of the world. That's colonialism. Just because that can't build roads, I don't think you understand anything if you view it that way. And unfortunately, you see a lot of this. You know, this cynical 25, 30, 35 year olds, they got their liberal arts degree and they think they know everything and they've been all around the world how everything works. The evils of the world are all about dealing with scarcity at the end of the day, the fear of it or the reality of it. And the whole field of economics is the study of human behavior under scarcity. If resources are unlimited, no one really cares. Doesn't matter. But when resources are finite, who gets to decide how they get to decide? Who gets to allocate? Uh, who has access? Who doesn't have access? These types of things. It's where governments come in. Corrupt governments are ones that keep the pie small. Good, well-constructed 
governments grow the pie for everybody and everybody prospers from it. Systems make good governments, not the other way around. Bad governments make bad systems. Good systems make good governments. And I think that was totally lost and that's totally beyond the point. And they say, oh, they have all these connectivity problems and infrastructure problems. Oh, fuck you. They're going to solve that too themselves because there's a lot of money in the developing world. There's a lot of value in the developing world. African entrepreneurs are going to solve the African connectivity issues. And in many cases, better, faster, and cheaper than we do. They're not going to have four monopolies beating each other up uh, that are state sponsored. No, there's going to be thousands of ISPs, thousands of different ways to connect. Oh, they don't have the right computing infrastructure. Africans will figure that out for Africans, not us. Okay. And they're going to do it better than we do. They'll get more, better, faster, cheaper. And that infrastructure alone is all that's required for new systems that are better than our systems. Give them access to the systems. They know what to do. They'll get it done. And when they do, collectively, the wealth will build to an extent that it's comparable to ours. And then suddenly those roads get built. And they're not just roads. They're hyperloops. They're not just roads. They're hypersonic aircraft. They're not just roads. They're the matter net. A lot of new things will come that we can't get here because we have blinders on and bad systems.